Italy's Amalfi Coast is one of the most coveted European tourist destinations, and it's no mystery why. The deep blue Mediterranean waters, the stunning cliffs along the coastline, the iconic seaside towns, and the incredible food more than likely contribute to this region's intense popularity. Like all tourist hotspots, there are unavoidable nuisances associated with the experience. This is especially true on the Amalfi Coast because of the rigid, unforgiving terrain. The transportation logistics are difficult, the tourist crowds are unavoidable, the prices are often exorbitant, and yet the undeniable beauty of this landscape is still impossible not to fawn over. We are spending a week in this magical corner of Italy to immerse ourselves in the full experience. The good, the bad, the inconvenient, and of course, the unforgettable. We have made it to the Amalfi Coast. It's kind of a viral idea on the internet right now that although this place is beautiful, it's very hard and very inconvenient to actually get here physically. We can definitely attest to that after today. I guess we were kind of asking for it though because we started all the way up in Milan. So almost a five hour train ride, even with the high speed train to get down here. And then an hour and 15 minute ride from the Napoli Centrale station. So definitely not the easiest of travel days, but I am not complaining one bit because we have arrived in paradise. This is the Hotel Mediterraneo in Sorrento, and it's where we'll be based for the next few days as we explore this beautiful region of Italy. This is the one bedroom with a king bed. Very simple, everything we need. The main attraction though of this hotel room is the window view. While Max soaks up this view, I'll show you guys the bathroom. Of course, we have to have a little bathroom tour. And when you first walk in, it's automatically stunning. I'm obsessed with the marble and gold detailing. And of course, they have a robe with slippers. You know a hotel is good when they have robes and slippers. They've also provided shampoo, shower, gel conditioner, body lotion, and I cannot wait to rinse away this day. Our very first meal in the Campania region, a seaside restaurant called Bagni Santana. The main course, baked sea bass coated in sea salt and topped with melted butter. Pure culinary perfection. All right, I want a cannoli. The town of Sorrento is on the opposite side of the peninsula from the Amalfi Coast. It is directly across the gulf from the city of Naples. It's a perfect place to stay, slightly removed from the tourist hotspots of Amalfi and Positano, but still well within range of all the attractions, especially via boat. Our first boat excursion takes us along the Sorrento coast in the direction of the gorgeous island of Capri.
One of Capri's top attractions is the Grotta Azura, or the Blue Grotto. This natural sea cave is full of electric blue water that glows with reflected sunlight. The experience is absolutely worth it, but be prepared for painfully long wait times during peak hours. We visited a similar landmark while we were in Croatia, but our wait time there was significantly shorter because we went early in the morning. How are you guys? Good? Good. Yeah. Right. We're excited. Very excited. Where did it come from? Uh, the States. Is your first time? Yes. My first date today. Your first day. The entrance fee for the Blue Grotto is 18 euros per person, not including tip. Oh my god. I try, my friend, I don't know. Simonari. Arida. Mamma mia, oh my god. Although we have seen this natural phenomenon once before, it is still impossible not to be mesmerized. Because the sunlight reflects off an underwater section of the rock formation, it literally bounces into the cave through the water itself. This is what creates the glowing effect. It is one of those things that is a thousand times more stunning in person than on camera. Swimming in the Mediterranean water is an incredible experience. The concentration of salt makes it almost impossible to dive down, and floating on the surface is effortless. Especially in the summer months, the gelato here melts so fast. So this is really awesome to have. Frozen lemon, it's keeping all of your gelato frozen as well. It's so cute and it's also functional. We love that. The 
This morning, we're cutting over to the other side of the peninsula for a drive along the one and only Amalfi Coast. Positano and Amalfi are the most popular towns along the coast, but they're also the most crowded. The town of Ravello, which sits on top of the cliff, is slightly less crowded and provides absolutely stunning views over the water and along the coastline. With the town of Positano, I think what you have is the beauty and the space. The ratio just doesn't really mix. So you are always gonna have these big crowds when it's tourist season. We're here on a Sunday, so that probably doesn't help. But I would imagine, especially during the peak tourist season, every single day of the week is gonna be just packed with people. There's one road in, one road out, very small beach, and this is built on the side of a cliff. So there's just not a lot of room to move around. If you can allow yourself to extrapolate the crowds from the beauty. The beauty is pretty amazing to appreciate. The one thing we are thinking though right now, it's probably best to be out on the water. I think that's probably the best way to enjoy Positano. So we're keeping that in mind. Another day, another boat ride. This time, we are taking in the Amalfi Coast from the perspective of the water. Yes, of course. How could I miss it? It's gonna be a little colder though. We were trying to wait for the sun to come out before we take a swim, but we might not have that option. We might just have to go for it. I'm ready though. No way. Positano has always been popular, but it has experienced a major tourism boom in recent years thanks to social media. When we walked around the town, it was quite claustrophobic and hard to navigate. The narrow streets that descend down the cliff can only handle so many people at a time. Seeing it from the water was a completely different experience altogether. The colorful buildings, seemingly stacked on top of each other, speckle the rigid cliffside and provide one of the coolest and most unique settings we have ever seen.
The Amalfi Coast is certainly not the most convenient place to visit. There's really only one way in and one way out. It can be quite the journey from Naples, and once you arrive, you will have to navigate through crowded alleys, climb up steep steps, wait in lines, and depending on the time of year, endure stifling temperatures. But with all that said, this place provides an experience that is pretty hard to replicate. The natural beauty is hard to even describe with words. The food will captivate your senses, and the seaside towns built right into the cliff's edge all belong on a postcard. Farewell to the Amalfi Coast, an experience we will never forget.